Hello everyone, Kirithan. Welcome back to some more ACC on the channel. And if you're a player that's looking to get into ACC on console, or maybe you're looking to get back into ACC, we're showing you everything you need to know to get playing on an equal footing. And we're going to do today the settings in the game. We're going to run through every single setting quite quickly. It's not going to be a long video. So you know that you've got everything just right when you're driving. I'm very, very, very excited to have in this video Nathan Maximum, who's a Kirith Esports driver in iRacing. He's also very, very fast in ACC, very fast in Gran Turismo as well. Nathan's been doing ACC on PC. He's got ACC on PS5 as well. And we really want to get this community going on console. We think there's a great opportunity to have some great league racing and competitions and whatnot. So if you're there, Nathan, should we go into the settings? Yep, yeah, let's go. Let's do it. Right. So Nathan's watching my screen as we're recording this. And I've already tuned the settings. Nathan's tuned the settings. So we're going to explain to you what's relevant what's not relevant and we're starting here in the video settings and basically there's not a lot here really that you need to think about changing the main preference is going to be on motion blur uh, motion blur is off by default it will use a bit more resource having it on acc isn't a game that always hits 60 frames a second on ps5 in my experience so i've kept it disabled that's purely a kind of a visual thing for you in terms of if you want the game to look prettier at the cost of performance everything else i haven't needed to tweak so we're keeping that the same now we're going to go into audio here nathan's got some tweaks to the audio do you want to explain why you, you tweaked the audio a little bit yeah so recently i've been really thinking about tire sound so that's why i would prefer to have some of the other sounds turned down a little bit just so that i can be more in touch with my tires nice. um, through corners through acceleration zones i think um there's something I'm placed a bit more focused on recently in sim racing, just getting to know exactly what my tyres are doing. I think it's it's not really something you get in Gran Turismo, in Gran Turismo 7 or even Gran Turismo Sport. Um, you never really felt in touch with your tyres that much. I think the so, irony is right, but the tyre noises in GT are just so loud that they're almost... Yeah, but it's a really yeah. default sound, right, isn't it? It doesn't, it doesn't yeah. graduate or anything, so... Yeah, even with that, I had the tyre sound turned up. But with this one, I mean, the engine is just its so loud. It's so intoxicating, really. Um, it kind of takes away from... I, I guess the tyre sound is a little bit more important than the engine sound. Yeah. But overall, this kind of setting, it does keep it very immersive. Yeah. Um, but yeah, just place a bit more focus on the tyres, really. So that's our recommendation recommendation on the sound let us know in the comments by the way what your thoughts on your settings if you've got any other preferred settings let us know because we're kind of growing a little community here right i've gone into controls and this is quite a controversial one i'm going to be honest i am still not there with the force feedback on acc um it's what put me off acc on pc years ago and never quite worked it out there's more that i need to do i think our fix so far nathan has just been to increase the gain right um, but it's just a fundamentally um, different. I was actually today. Okay. I was just on before before we started this call, and I've actually got the game down at around sixty five at the moment. All right, let's try it. Um, I think with a wheel like what we have, the CSL elites having a high gain. I think it, I think gain is is the stand word for multiplier kind of thing. Yeah. So like a force feedback multiplier it just in general increases the strength and i think if you increase the strength too much you start to lose feeling so so nathan it's... and i we, we both have fanatec csl elite wheel bases which i guess are kind of i'm gonna say they're mid-level wheels so i would put entry level like mm. t150 g29 then you got csl elite and now you've got the upper end or the dd stuff so what is it the fanatec What's it called gtdd or something and the podiums yeah yeah oh, thrust mod. And, like that, yeah. and the dds have have much better detail um where to see oh, yeah. least don't better. have so i think i understand what you're saying we're kind of multiplying but it's we're multiplying kind of bad it, it will struggle to multiply it with detail so oh cool yeah yeah definitely yeah so although i do have the road effects up at 100 okay as well um and I think, to be honest, I might end up reducing the gain a little bit more. Okay. But right now, I'm kind of playing with the, the wheel settings itself um, yeah. from the wheel menu. Um, but yeah, I, 
probably be reducing the gain a little bit more as time goes by. So if anyone watching has got any ideas on force feedback and what you do, do let us know. And um, it's, as soon as I find out something that I'm really happy with, I'm going to be making a video and sharing it because I think to me that really is kind of one of the keys to to ACC. But there are our suggestions at the moment. Um, on the steering lot, this for me, I think defaulted at 1080 degrees. And yeah, I think mine is 1080 as well, actually. And my Fanatec are in the software, so when I've got it connected to PC, I've uh, lowered my wall rotation in Fanatec to 400. So I've matched it here. I don't know if there's any other way of doing that, Nathan, but I don't know if you just match it to what you've done in the driver settings. Uh, mine, the in-game setting, I've got mine up at 1080, but mm -hmm. the wheel sensitivity on the wheel, um, I've got at automatic. Uh, okay, fine. So that's a setting you can Which have on the wheel. Think yeah, which I think mimics like for like um, what you'll see on the screen is is your exact input. Although some cars do have different angles. Um, I know I've been driving the M4 recently and it is like for like, but I think I was driving the Bentley the other day and it was slightly off. Like I was putting in more input on my wheel than what I was seeing the wheel turning in the game. It's horrendous, right? Because so, you end up chewing the tires and you understeer and you oversteer, and it's like, yeah, desynced. yeah, so, yeah. So you do have to adjust the steer lock per car, I believe. So this is a really, but really, really important know. setting. Like this is, mm. if you don't, if you forgot to change this, you might have fundamentally a rubbish experience of ACC. So I think mm. there mm. might be two ways: either making sure your wheel is automatic, you've got a Fantec wheel, or just matching the lock to what you've got the wheel. I don't think we changed anything else, Nathan, did we, in terms of linearity, scale? No. And I don't understand the dead zones. I mentioned this in my previous video. Please let us know if you understand how the dead zones work, because I've no idea why it starts coming down from the top here when I want to minimize that red band at the bottom. Anyway. And Fanatec will rumble, um, pedal, pedal rumble, sorry, sorry, if you've got Fanatec pedals. Some people say it's a gimmick. Um, it's kind of i think your view nathan is that there's there's I'll, because of the delay it's, yeah. it can never be so yeah. useful yeah i was a little bit um how can i say underwhelmed with the rumble feature of course when you're on 100 percent, it will rumble yeah. um and you expect it to but it's just you know the immediate effect you'll get if you if you were really looking up in a car it's literally immediate yeah but was this rumble feature it's on a motor with a, a one-sided weight it would almost which, be when it spins really fast it'd be a bit before right in a car you start to feel it almost like before you see the effect whereas here it's the other yeah. side of it it's like so yeah, anyway yeah, so it's just not immediate enough basically so, i mean i have it on anyway because yeah. it helps with the throttle as well yeah i do i, I feel like i paid um, for it so <laughs> yeah but most of the time i find that they just rumble 100 percent because of the engine yeah so if, if if you haven't got a fanta pedal set you're not missing out that much um but anyway fine so they, those are the settings for um wheels um i guess we can try and do control another side nathan i'm it's actually probably worth a separate video doing like how acc is on controller um let us know in the comments below if you're playing ac yeah. on the controller that'd be really interesting to see there's a lot of people that yeah, yeah. um the control bindings are i think a lot of it's personal preference um it will also massively depend on your wheels so i don't think we'll go through this yeah. now but unless it's anything particularly important you think nathan people should be mapping um well i'll, I'll give you a brief run through of my settings okay. so the formula one esports fanatec rim it's the most simple formula one rim that some fanatec do yeah. I think it's got the least amount of buttons, um, so it was a bit of a challenge. But for example, the right rotary switch, yeah. I have my brake bias forwards and backwards on yeah. the rotary switch. Um, I have the top three buttons on the right. I've got from outside to inside, I've got traction control increase, brake, uh, sorry, ABS increase. Okay and engine map increase um yep. so i don't actually have decrease buttons on those but it works out because you're just toggling from like a one to ten system okay so you go through so 
yeah if i'm on traction control one for example i'll press my button it goes to two yeah. press it again it goes to three and if i want to decrease it again i just got to cycle all the way to 10 back yeah. to zero and then back to one or two or whatever i want it and that goes for all three uh traction control abs and engine map yeah. so i mean it, it works out but uh <clears throat> the left three top buttons the left one i have as the mfd cycle what was it again go, go down on the screen yeah the mfd cycle MFD yeah cycle down. not the dash yeah thing. yeah so yeah so again i haven't got um a down map it's just up so i literally i just cycle through the screens every now yeah. and then um i think that's maybe how it works course, f1 i might might be wrong but i think it might work out it might be yeah and of course with the um up and down left and right switch which yep. is also the rotary one you're able to navigate the menus once you're on them screens so yeah. you can adjust tire pressures for your next pit stop how much fuel you want for your next pit stop um nice. and so on yeah the middle top left of, of the top three uh of the top left three buttons i have the middle one as change view yeah I don't really use that often. Um, I don't actually have the a button map for the other one. I haven't really found the use for it yet. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> out of the two red buttons in the middle, my left one is the pit limiter. Okay. And the right one is the light flash. Nice. Very useful for And that racing. is about it. Yeah. All right. Well, so, I'll, yeah, I'll that's, have, that's it for me. I'll have put up a picture of that on the screen so everyone watching will have been able to see where they go. Um, mm -hmm. Right. Let's check out. I think that is the meat of the settings, actually. So um, let's have a look at general. Absolutely nothing we changed here. Just all the same. Right. Assist. References, really. Sorry? No, I think they're all preferences in general. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, we want to save time, I think, and stuff like that. Um, assist. So gearbox. I've gone manual, automatic clutch, automatic engine start. I don't mind. Automatic wipers. I don't mind. Automatic lights. I don't mind. Automatic pit limiter. I don't mind. And then stability control turned off. Um, and ideal line. I've turned off here. But if I was going to the new track, I'd actually probably turn ideal line on just to learn the track. I haven't got an issue with that. Um, yeah. Yeah. They're always helpful. And then the HUD, there's only one thing I changed and I can't remember what it is. So, sorry about that. But this is what we've got here. There's nothing particular. Speed units. Oh, actually, do you mind kilometers an hour? Or are you miles an hour person? I don't know, because in iRacing, I use kilometers now so I can have liters, but I'd rather have miles, actually. So I'm going to go miles and do it. Oh, I see. Um, I think maybe I turned off AI driver name tags because I thought that would maybe clutter the screen. So yeah. that is all the settings in ACC. So hopefully, by the way, if you enjoyed this video, do make sure to like, subscribe, follow us on this journey. It'd be great if we can grow this channel and this community in the ACC console space. It's such a great platform. And um, with GT7 going through some issues and G7 is a great game, but ACC does offer a lot more. As we're gonna see in our next video, when we look at setups. So if you're worried about setups, going to put a card to it up here. This is going to be the setups video. We'll see you there.